So this is it, Alexandra Palace, a.k.a. the People's Palace. And I tell you what, on a lovely day like this, isn't it absolutely resplendent? And if it looks good from the outside, come on in and we'll give you a tour backstage to see how the snooker family all fits together here for this most prestigious of invitational tournaments. Guests come and sign in. We'll just check here with uh, Gary. You, some of you may remember him. Gary, any famous people coming this week? Uh, just yourself, that's all. Cheeky sod, I knew he was going to say that. Merchandise stand here. Pretty decent array of t-shirts. And I'm guessing, if you can see there, the nugget after his exploits in the jungle, I'm guessing that Steve's t-shirt is selling best of all. Is that right, Lynn? Well, not quite as well as yours, Rob. Um, and we're doing very well on the Ronnie the Rocket today as well. Kids, you might have to close your eyes. Look at that. Snooker players do it with one foot on the floor. What a brilliant t-shirt that is. Absolutely superb. Just follow me round here. This is an incredible room, actually. We'll keep our voices down. We're not going to interview anyone in here because this is the VIP guests room. But what a grand setting this is. This is where the friends and family come to chill out. And we've got a table over there for the uh, guys in here to have a pint and uh, practice their skills to see if they can join the top 16 and come and appear here at the Masters next year. Here's the, uh, here's the Q zone. It's a fantastic facility this. If you're here at the Masters and you're watching this but you happen to have missed it uh, coming here to the Q zone, come along, have a go and get some expert coaching. So the main atrium, a really unique piece of architecture. Hello, and these kind people will let us in. This, they've changed things around this year. The top of that staircase there, just turn around Nick, the top of that staircase is where the players wait before they walk on. This is the press room. So we've got all the photographers, many of them put their kit down on the front row. Jamie Broughton, Five Live, just towards the uh, far end. There's Dave Hendon, the uh, commentator for Eurosport in the centre there. There's some hard work goes on in here as well as the banter. Ivan Hershevitz, he's the uh, chief press liaison officer. Uh, Ivan, what, what have you made of it so far? There are so many decent six fives. Yeah, but a couple of really good matches, Mark Selby and Mark Davis on the opening day and then yesterday a uh, cracking match between Trump and um, Marco Fu. But what a day we've got today. Sean Murphy against Ding Jinhui this afternoon and then Ronnie O'Sullivan against Rob Milkins. Has there ever been a better day at, at, the, at the Masters than this? It's uh, one to look forward to. Thanks, Ivan. I know you've got some hard work to do. Cheers. We'll catch up with you later. Tournament office down here. There's Martin Clark. Clark, the assistant tournament director, he's in charge today. No sign of Mike Ganley yet. Martin, it's, uh, it's quite nice to, to, to arrive at the tournament already at the one table setup. That's that's what that's what people seem to love about the Masters. Well, yeah, I mean, a lot of the tournaments we do now, we've got sort of 11 tables, so we've, we've got plenty of players on site where it can be a bit quiet, really, to be honest with you, with just, just the one table. Great stuff. Thanks, thanks, Martin. We're certainly looking forward to our two matches today right come with me there's a little bit morning john there's a little bit of a walk here as we return to the daylight and head upstairs towards the referee's office so we're heading towards the dressing rooms we won't go in the dressing rooms or knock on the door but just a little nod to the history and the prestige of ali pali check this out rolling stones 1964 jagger on stage with all those faces in the crowd. I bet every single person who went to that concert can still remember it to this day. So, so much history with Ali Pali. We'll just keep our voices down a little bit. There are the uh, player dressing rooms. And then we'll just have a little knock in here. Oh, this is very plush. This is very plush indeed. Check out the green sofas. This is the referee's preparation area. Sorry for butting in. Paul, just a, a quick word. We'll leave Michaela to, to get ready. It's a brilliant tournament, this, isn't it? I mean, it's just every player you look at is sheer class. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's a great venue. It's a great event. Everybody's playing really well at the moment. And you just see the players walking around. They're so keyed up for this event. They love it. You know, it's, uh, it's really good. 
And when you get a 6-5, as, as we have done a couple of times already in this year's championship, do you get a buzz from that when you're out there overseeing a match that goes so tight? Yeah, definitely, because the atmosphere picks up in the audience. You see how hard the players are trying and, you know, you know what it means to them. So, yeah, it really gives an extra buzz. Right, great stuff. We shall interrupt you guys no longer. We're very jealous about the green couches. We haven't got those in the press room. A little look in here. There's Ding just having a little knock up ahead of his match against Sean Murphy. What a season Ding has had. Those three big titles in a row. And he's up to world number three. And he's won this title, but not here, Ali Pali. Okay, let's leave him to it. Before we head out onto the arena floor, which is what it's all about. Just a quick look from this side of the brilliant BBC studio. A unique feature of the Masters is that the audience and the players can see the studio almost like a little bubble. A fantastic set this and what a backdrop when, uh, when Hazel and John and Steve or Stephen Hendry are in here doing the punditry in between frames you can see the referee racking in the background it's uh, quite a tight space this a lot of cameras real expertise to set this up it uh, certainly looks like a cracking set when you're out on the arena floor looking up ready to go live two commentary boxes here of course we've just passed the BBC one and this is the Eurosport comms box and it's great to see them here live normally they do their commentary from Feltham from their base there and then this is it, this is the big walk. Actually, the crowds have been so good here at Ali Pali this week that most of the time the players will be walking on from down the stairs, but they do have that other walk on there, which sometimes the uh, referees use. So this is it, this is where the magic happens. So I hope you've enjoyed our little backstage tour. It's a huge complex here at Ali Pali. There were loads of rooms we didn't get a chance to show you, but uh, you just hopefully they got a little insight into what goes on behind the scenes here to make sure that this prestigious invitational tournament runs, fingers crossed, as smoothly as possible. You, no